We are on top of breaking news tonight. We have learned that police have detained and are questioning five people for the killing of an off-duty LAPD officer shot to death Monday during an armed robbery attempt in South LA. Good evening. Welcome to Fox 11 News at 5. I'm Alex Michaels. And I'm Marla Tejas. Christine Devine is off tonight. Tonight, we know the identity of that officer. Here is his picture. He is 27-year-old Fernando Arroyos. Investigators say he was gunned down while shopping for a home with his girlfriend. Fox 11's Christina Gonzalez is live with more on who police are questioning in his killing. Christina. Yes, sheriff investigators just left the area here off of 60th Street. They took with them five people, three men and two women. They are being questioned. They have not been charged with anything having to do with the killing of this officer, but they were here all day gathering quite a bit of evidence. Take a look. L.A. County Sheriff deputies on the hunt for the cop killer who shot an off-duty LAPD officer identified at today's police commission meeting. Officer Fernando Arroyos, 27 years of age, had three years on the job, was starting a very promising career. He was checking out this house for sale off East 87th Street while off-duty. He was with his girlfriend when three men in a dark SUV tried to rob them, and neighbors heard half a dozen shots. That's when we heard uh, his girlfriend screaming for help. Dispararon, salieron bien rápido. Witnesses say the truck sped away, leaving large bullet holes and fences and the officer's body in the alley. Our neighbor's daughter came out to do CPR, but when she tried to help, it, there was nothing else that could have been done. In the alley, investigators found the officer's weapons and a second handgun near a trail of blood leading away. A few minutes later, 911 received a call from a man reporting he'd been shot not far away from where the officer was killed. Now, that man was transported to a local hospital, but it wasn't long before investigators were serving search warrants at that location. Taking people in for questioning and collecting evidence in bags. Community activists, usually speaking against police shootings, found themselves saying... And that's important that we understand that all life is precious. He was looking to move into the community, and that's something that we've always wanted to have law enforcement actually live amongst us, the way they can treat us fairly, know us who we are. We can't tolerate this, regardless if it's law enforcement or the people in the community. This murder has to stop. We already had 23 murders already, and we just started this year. We're only 11 days in. Now, keep in mind that that six square mile area that is Florence and Firestone, very small, but still responsible for about a sixth of the homicides all year. So very busy. Now, I should tell you, Officer Arroyos is the son of immigrant parents. He is their only son and that his girlfriend was not physically injured during this thing. We'll keep you updated. I'm Christina Gonzalez in South Los Angeles. Back to you in the studio. We're so sorry for their loss. Christina. Thank you.